Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a soft core CPU in a general FPGA. Previously, we have some videos showing demo projects and applications using Xilinx Zing FPGA. The Zing CPU is a hard IP ARM core in the Xilinx FPGAs like the Zing 7000, Zing Ultrascale or Ultrascale Plus, etc. So if you don't need the too much fancy CPU in your project, for example, just doing some simple hardware control tasks, you may choose to embed a soft core microcontroller in the general FPGA. In this demo, we will use Xilinx Kingtex Evaluation Board KC705 and build the Xilinx MicroBraid soft IP CPU into it. We will also look at how to bring the project to Vitus and run the simple C application with that CPU. Now let's create the project. We'll use MicroBase example as the project name. We select the board. KC705 board is predefined in the Vivado, so it's much easier to just bring it in. When we are using board flow, the KC705 available pins connecting to the FPJ already defined in configuration, so we don't really need to define our pins. We create a block diagram. You have option to select the simple micro brace uh, microcontroller cord. This MCS cord is more simpler. The normal micro brace cord is a bit complicated with the uh, ASIC bus already built in. Today's demo, we are going to show you the normal micro brace cord with the ASIC bus. So we are going to connect the ASIC GPIO and the ASIC uh, UART to the core to demonstrate some hardware features. Bovado provides the option to automatically configure the core. So you can select the local memory size. Uh, normally, AK should be sufficient. But if you want to bring some format from the UART, use the printf command. That command will take around 60 k of memory. So for that purpose, you need to assign a little bit more local memory for the microcontroller core. Um, in today's demo, we are going to use the simple print command and the Xilinx printf. The Xilinx printf will take about 6 k memory. So 8K should be sufficient. We can also choose to use 16K. It's not that much of difference. For simplicity, we are not going to use the debug feature. So we don't use Vitus to connect to the board for debugging. If you want the Vitus connect to the debug board, you need to enable the debug cord. The ASIC port is already enabled. So Vivado already have so many automation scripts that can bring all the pins to the design. In the automation, you can select what bot pins connect to the IP. For the clock, we are using the system differential clock. Uh, the clock wizard reset, we don't really need to reset it because uh, I'm going to have some demo to use the reset button, so I don't want to reset the clock at that moment, so I'm going to tie this to not reset on the clock. But the external reset, I'm going to connect to the board for the CPU. So, we don't need this. I'm going to add a uh, 
constant one zero just double check the reset is active high Now we can add some GPIO to connect to the board's LED. So you had you have options to select dip switch, LED, LCD, push button, etc. In this demo, we are going to use the LED. The ASIC bus already connected to the ASIC uh, switch. We also add the UR. And connect the UR to the board's RS232 UR port, which is connecting to a micro USB. Double check the design, should be okay. Now we are going to generate the wrapper for this to bring all the pins to the output. Let the Vavado make this wrapper at the top file. So at this point, you're okay to just build the base stream and load to the board, but um, Vavado by default set the project to be loaded from the JTAG port. I don't really like this way. I usually want to use the flash on the board to load the image. So every time I power up the board, the board should be working as I expect. I don't really need to connect to a Vavado JTAG to bring it in or something like that. So it will be much easier to just using the board itself. For that purpose, I'm going to use my constraint file to define the configuration. So for the KC705 board, the config band voltage is 2.5. Put it to VCC, I'm going to use the bitstream compression. That is the parallel flash configuration. So I'm going to import that file to the project. By the way, you can find all the project files in my GitHub connection. I'll show down below. So now we have all the necessary files. We can build the bitstream. OK, the bitstream is done. Now we are going to bring the project to Whitus. First, you need to export the hardware, include the bitstream. You can use whatever name you choose. And then we launch the Whitus IDE. First, we need to define the platform for this CPU, create a platform project. We will select the hardware we just exported. White has already recognized a standalone micro brace, things like that. And from the platform in the micro braid section, we know that
the micro blades is built with some accessories. For example, GPIO, UART is already defined in that. Now we are going to build the application on top of that platform. Select the MB platform we just created. The application name. We use the simple hello world as a template. So several files already put in the directory. Under the platforms C file, as you can see, it's defining the UR bot rate. So feel free to change that to a faster one. Also, the platform configuration defines the UR, but there's no definition for the GPIO. So we will add the GPIO in that. This is the same as what we see in the standalone the address here, GPIO address, base address. In the main C, the original template just print out some hello world run for hello world finish things like that we will add some more loops to exercise the led and um, also print some other stuff from the ur port we can also add a simple xilinx um, sleep function We we'll use the loop and we we'll define the GPIO register. And the GPIO try state control. So this GPIO register mapping can be found in Xilinx application node. PG144 defines that the GPIO basis, base address 00 is the GPIO1 data. The next register is the try state. So from here, Initial the platform, print the hello world. Now we are going to just use the signing simple 32 bit read write register function. I put zero to set all the pin, all the GPIO pins as output. Uh, we just set one bit here. That's bit six. Now, so we turn on LED six at the beginning, and then I use a loop to exercise other bits for the exercise I'm just print 
the I and I'm also going to turn on the LED in sequence and then we can pause for a while like half a second so after all this is done we can turn on another LED that's bit 7 and then print this successful run so it's just very simple demo you can find this file in my github directory now everything seems to be just like that we can build the project Writers will build the executable binary as the ELF file and then we can embed this ELF file into the bitstream so every time the FPGA bitstream loaded from the flash already include this um, executable as you can see the size of the main routine takes about 9000 bytes so we already assigned 16k memory should be sufficient at this time the white has already built the ELF file we need to assign this ELF file back into the bitstream associate this ELF file into the micro braids we are using and Bravado keep checks of all the source files so once you change that it just tell you that the bitstream is out of day we can just rebuild the bitstream that's very easy it just combine the L file into the origin build bitstream now the bitstream is done we are going to change the bitstream to a memory file that can be loaded to the parallel flash first we need to change the directory into the run and the implementation folder We will use the right configuration memory command to change that. The bitstream file, use the file name as MCS and then force. Now, this bitstream memory file is already include all the fabric we built, the micro braids soft core, and the application binary into one file we just load it to the flash on the kc705 board and then put from there it should work as what we expect now we will load the bitstream to the kc705 board We will add the parallel flash to this chip. The parallel flash is 
28F00AP30T That's the memory file we just created Once it's done, we can turn off and reboot the board As you can see, the LEDs are working We can also look at the serial port Remember we use the CPU reset button Yep, so everything seems to be working as expected So this demo just showing you how to build a simple microcontroller into the general FPGA. We are using Xilinx MicroBraids soft core. Next video, we are going to make the demo for the RES5 soft core, also using the KC705 board. Stay tuned. See you next time.